I got this game back in 1996 on Christmas. This is one of the three games I got. It was Adam Family Value. It was WWF WrestleMania the arcade game. And it was Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. This game is an extremely difficult game. And I mean extremely difficult. You know, on a huge map where you guys keep going back and forth. There's no teleportations or anything like that. I mean, there are, but not like the way you think. They don't tell you what item you need to get, so you might see an item there that you can't get now, but you're not going to remember three hours from now to go back here to get the item. I would say, unless you're a hardcore Evans Family fan, or an extreme gamer that just wants to be the game, I would not get this game. To me, it was a great game. It was a fun game. It was a very stressful game. You know how much I played this game for over nine hours today. I watched the Super Bowl a little bit, but I was mostly playing this game. This game has a lot of bad things. You play fester. You have a lightning bolt that shoots out of this high as your hand. So if you got a boss coming to you, a, a, a bad guy, whatever you want to call him, an enemy, coming at you like this, and you're shooting, you're shooting like this. And that's pretty much his primary weapon. Now you have a couple other weapons too, like the bowling ball, seeds, rocks. They're okay, they don't really help, except for the red cookies. They do a great hit if you hit them. If you miss, you miss. You only get two of them. So I save those for the last boss of the game. Uh, Lurch will give you his bowling ball. Dang doesn't do nothing for you. Um, Morticia should give you two health. Adam will get you a key. Um, I don't remember what Pugsley and Wednesday gave you. They don't really help you much in the game. You'll see them once in a while. It's all about Granny because she'll give you the cookie, which is the blood. And you're really going to need them, especially on certain bosses. There are seven bosses in this game, and they are all hard, especially the last boss. The last boss is three enemies, or three forms. The fourth form is always hugging the wall, so it's extremely hard to hit him. But if you do beat him, you got the second one, which is, he's hard too, but that's the one I use the red cookies on. You hit him twice, he's pretty much dead. And then the third one is hard too because the three mini bosses circling around you, and when you kill those three mini bosses, they each turn into three smaller mini bosses. The ending was disappointing to say the least. It starts off with them thanking you for saving the baby, and then you get a picture. The whole entire Adam takes a picture, credit, and at the end you see the Adam House balloons flying out of the house. That's not the Adam family style. They don't do balloons. I got this game 96 for Christmas. I still have the poster unused and the uh, instruction manual. And I didn't put this in my collector's edition of my Super Nintendo games. I didn't even know I had this game anymore. I'm lucky I found this game. <coughs> it's an extremely tough game. You need to go on Game Facts or YouTube if you want to find out how to beat this game. I'm giving it a 3 out of 5. Only because I'm an Adam Family uh, fan. Not a hardcore fan, but I'm a fan. And because this is my childhood game. I was 15 when I got this game. That's how old young I was at the time. That's all I can say for the Adam Family game. If you're a hardcore game or a fan, play it. But if not, pass it by. Until next time.